Hey everyone and welcome to another one of our videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install some LED headlights in our Nissan Xterra. If you follow the channel you might remember that we installed a set uh, in the past. That set failed a few weeks ago whenever I was driving in the rain. Not sure if the rain had anything to do with it or if it was just time for those ones to fail. But I bought a different set off of Amazon, link in the description, uh, from a different brand. These ones were the highest rated ones that I could find on there. So taking a look in the box, you get what you typically get with LED headlights, an Allen wrench that you can use to adjust the beam pattern of the light, product manual, and the lamps themselves. So I'm going to go ahead and install one of these in the truck, figure out what's all needed to install everything, and then I'm going to show you how to install the other side, as well as show you a 50-50 comparison and then a final shot of what it looks like with both lights installed. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the truck, get one light installed, and come back with a 50-50 shot to start with. So we got one side in, as you can see, typical LED difference from halogen, much brighter, much wider. Um, it took a little bit of finagling to get it in, a little bit of an interesting install process that I've not had to do on any other LED lights, but I'll show you how to do that on the workbench, uh, how to get it set up before it goes into the car. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the workbench now and show you what you need to do to get the bulb set up, and then I'll show you how to install it in the vehicle and show you a final shot of both bulbs installed. So before you install the bulb in your Nissan, you're going to need to do a few things to get it set up, assuming that you're using these 9007 bulbs in your vehicle. Not sure if all Xterras use 9007, but I'm pretty sure all of the second generation ones do. So the first thing you're going to want to pay attention to is the clocking of this collar in relation to the bulb. If you look, this is the factory halogen bulb, and this is the top where the tab is. And you can see that from this tab, this cutout is clocked a little bit counterclockwise. If you look on this, you want each one of these, where the LEDs are, facing to the sides. You want this seam directly vertical. So if you look here, the bulb in this particular case came clocked correctly. However, you might need to remove the screw and clock that collar in order to get your beam pattern correct. If you don't do that and you say install the bulb like this, you're going to blind everybody. So in order to get the bulb set up, you need to get this collar on. The problem is you can slip it through the connector, it doesn't go on over it. So what you need to do is take this little screw out using the provided Allen key. Takes a minute to get the screw out. And once you have that out, you can pull this collar off. Then what you need to do is slip this back over and reinstall that collar in the same position that it was. It's a good idea to mark it before you take it off so you know how to put it back on. And once you get it put back on, you just put the screw back in where it was before. And then I'll show you how to install it in the vehicle once you've got it set up. So now we're in the engine bay of the truck. We're on the driver's side, just so you have a visual reference, and we're filming from the passenger's side. You can see the bulb is right here, the factory bulb, and here's the connector. So in order to start changing the bulb, all you need to do is disconnect the connector. It may be difficult to do. You might need to use some good pulling force on it. It'll come off. Now what you want to do is take the ring, this plastic retaining ring, and remove that. Now I want to mention that to install the LED headlights, you may need to file the ring down. I did that for my previous LED headlights, so I'm set there. And this one in the video is a brand new one that I used to temporarily reinstall my uh, halogen headlights. You probably want to buy a second set of those. And the part number for those is 26029 zero Z 800 and there will be a link in the description to those so once you get that ring pulled off all you have to do is pull outwards and your bulb comes out so now your halogen bulb is out and your new LED bulb is ready to go in so if you assembled it like I instructed in the previous clip all you need to do is slip it in to the socket get the keyways lined up push it in, and then turn to lock it. And there we go. This one's installed. Make sure everything's seated, and then what you do is take the connector from the LED bulb and plug it into the factory connector. And that's it. So, I'll show you what it looks like with both sides lit up, and that should be wrapping up the video. Okay, so here's what it looks like with both LED headlights installed. As expected, it looks awesome. It's definitely going to provide a lot more visibility at night. 
I want to mention one thing, whenever you're taking out your halogen bulbs, don't take them out when they're hot, if at all possible. And whenever you're taking them out, try not to touch the bulb envelope. And if you do, clean it with alcohol before you reuse them, if you reuse them. I also recommend keeping them, uh, storing them in the box that the LED headlights came in. <clears throat> so if your LED headlights were to fail on the road, you can reinstall the halogen ones on the roadside if you need be. So with that, I want to thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.